I would like to talk to you today on the subject, Everyone Communicates, Few Connect. This is off of my book that has just been released, and you have your outlines. And I want to, before I start teaching, kind of give you just the overview of the book. Basically, the book is divided in two sections, Connecting Principles and Connecting Practices. And we're going to talk about both of those today. Let's start with, of course, Connecting Principles. Number one, connecting increases your influence in every situation. For the foundation of the teaching today, I want to make sure that we really have a grasp of why connecting with people is so vital. So if you'll go to the very first sentence in your note, the number one criteria for advancement and promotion for professionals is an ability to communicate effectively. That I do believe. I think the ability to connect and communicate is the number one criteria for success with your family, with your marriage, with your children, with your friends, in the workplace, the marketplace, in the community. If you have the ability to connect with people, if you can communicate and connect, not just communicate, it takes you and literally gives you and I a decided edge over others in the advancement of what we're trying to accomplish. For example, in your notes, presidential historian Robert Dalek says that the success that successful presidents exhibit five skills and qualities that enable them to achieve things that others don't. So he's talking about leaders and presidents and people, what makes some achieve better than others? Here's the five things they do well. Number one is vision. Number two, pragmatism. Number three, consensus building. The ability to put together a team and get consensus. Number four, charisma. And number five, trustworthiness. Being a trustworthy kind of a person. Now, what is interesting about these five, uh, these five things that set the better presidents apart from maybe the average ones, four of the five deal with connecting. Vision is a definitely a connecting skill, the ability to, to cast a future vision, consensus building, getting people to work together. You have to be able to connect to do that. Charisma, of course, that's why people follow the quote, the Pied Piper, and trustworthy. Four of the five uh, of the skills needed to be successful as a leader had a lot to do with connecting. So let me define connecting, because that's what this book is all about. Connecting is the ability to identify with people and relate to them in such a way that it increases our influence with them. In other words, we can identify with them until they say, he or she understands exactly what I know and what I'm going through, and we can relate with them until we, because of that ability, we begin to increase our influence with them. And of course, what do I teach about leadership? Very simple, leadership is influence. 